So like many people, I cannot wait for Cyberpunk 2077. In my opinion, it's definitely going to be the game of the year, or maybe the game of next year. You never know, people. But it isn't all great. And today, guys, I bring you 10 bad things about Cyberpunk. But actually, people, are these as bad as people are making out? Today we discuss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also guys I am giving away copies of this game to be with a chance of winning one drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So this video consists of 10 things that are bad about cyberpunk and well to be honest I struggled to find 10 things this was almost a top 3 because I mean, there's not that many things that are wrong with it. But when you have the inclusion of things that were cut from the game, 10 things are easy to find. But even still, please don't take this the wrong way. In my opinion, Cyberpunk is going to be absolutely incredible. And I am as hyped about this as anybody else. And to be honest, a lot of these bad things, in my opinion, actually ain't that bad and probably better for the game. But let's get into it anyway, people. Okay, so did you know you can't store and keep stolen vehicles because as we know we can actually collect cars in this game we have them within our garage we can call upon them whenever we want to drive to us within any part of the city and probably even the badlands too but the cars with the features to do this we actually have to buy or earn we can't steal cars put them in our garage and keep them which to me i mean it isn't too bad of an issue because I like to earn things in games I mean I'll be stealing cars anyway but the fact you have to earn your way and earn your way up that ladder to earn that amazing supercar or hypercar I actually enjoy that so where some people will find this a bad addition I think it's actually good also people it is said your body stat needs to be high enough to steal certain cars. Now this, I guess, is in terms of the high up the ladder the car is, i.e. sports car, supercar, hypercar. And I don't think this is within the inclusion of dragging a driver out of that car. I mean, if you see a car parked up, a security system on a, say, hypercar is going to be quite a decent one. And no doubt an attribute perk will have to be leveled up to a certain stat before you can bypass its security system. Which again, isn't too much of a bad thing, because again, it's called progress. While on cars, did you know you cannot pilot any of the flying vehicles within the game? I mean, we see them all over the trailers, we see them flying around Night City, but it's said we cannot pilot them. Although we will be within one at a certain part of the story campaign, we won't be piloting it, which to me, I mean, I was super excited about flying a car around the city, but in all honesty, I'm not sure it would be good for the game because we know Night City is very vertical. Having the ability to just fly on top of buildings, I mean, I'm not sure about that if I'm completely honest with you. So yes, people, we cannot drive or pilot those flying vehicles. Sticking to the theme of cars, we cannot customize vehicles, which although people are saying was cut from the game, actually it was never in the game to be cut. Now I do believe we can tune them up because I did hear them state within Night City uh, Wire 4 that we could tune up vehicles to probably make them a little faster. Take a listen. These are for tunes who love the smell of exhaust and the roar of street wildlife. Their powerful engines and exchangeable parts make them perfect for tuning. Come on! but we can't customize them visually. Although we can find custom versions of cars out there in the wild. So there will be multiple versions of the same car, some customized, we just can't do it ourselves. We also people cannot customize our own apartments. So where we go to sleep, where we wake up, where we watch TV cannot be customized. Now I have read on the internet people are pretty bummed about this but at the end of the day I don't plan on spending much time there anyway. I'm going to be travelling about Night City. I ain't bothered about how my apartment looks but hey that's just me. I know people like to customise said apartments. Another thing, it is said that multiplayer will not be here until 2022 which is quite a long while away. But if you think about it, I mean it's almost 2021 now. Can Cyberpunk survive a year without multiplayer? I think it can, especially as they have confirmed 15 or 16 plus DLCs for this game. They said it's going to offer more DLCs than what The Witcher 3 did and we know that had 16 so I think we can wait a whole year until multiplayer. And although that hasn't been confirmed yet, some pretty legit sources have said they don't think multiplayer will be here until 2022. Now another thing that's been cut from the game and I have seen a few people get pissy over is third person cutscenes. Now as we have seen in previous demos or gameplay trailers from a couple years back, there are plenty of third person cutscenes where we can see our own customised character. 
Now it isn't too much of a biggie to me, but a lot of people out there don't like the idea of being able to customize our character as we can. I mean, the customization in this game is pretty in depth, but then not having much opportunities to actually see our said characters. I mean, yes, we'll see them while we're driving cars or riding motorcycles in reflection and a few other places, including photo mode. But a lot of the third person cutscenes where we'd see our player interact with other NPCs have been cut out of the game. So I can see why a few people are a bit pissy about this, but to me, I ain't that fussed. Now another thing that was cut out of the game is wall running and hanging off walls with Mantis Blades. Now early on within the gameplay trailers we saw uh, V hanging upon a wall like a surveillance camera, just locking down upon enemies. This could be done with Mantis Blades, one of their options. But this has been completely cut out of the game, we cannot wall run anymore. Which is something I'm quite bummed about. But what do you think? Let me know down below in that comments section, people. And finally, while we're on the theme of cyberware, there is a limited number of slots where you can install that cyberware. But it is possible to place already installed cyberware. Now, the cyberware in this game goes relatively deep to body augments, to eye augments, to all sorts of things, people. But it is said we are limited to what we can install upon ourselves. But as long as we can upgrade, which we can, and we can replace if we find something better, I'm good with it, people. But at the end of the day, do you want to be a walking, talking Robocop? I mean, I probably would if it was possible. But we will see, people, we will see on December. 10th which is this game's new release date and I'm pretty sure everybody within that cyberpunk community has got those fingers crossed people because I can't take another delay I'm not gonna lie to you it's probably the worst thing about this game right now well it's probably the worst thing about this game in the entirety of it being created are those delays because at the end of the day I mean it was only like three weeks away and I've decided to drop another delay I mean it's only an initial 21 days but I'm just hoping December 10th all is sorted with whatever's going on behind the scenes with the game, which I'm pretty certain it's probably something to do with the game um, being compatible for current gen, which is PS4 and Xbox One, as we know it's moved more towards a next gen game. But I'm just hoping whatever problems I've had with this game and coding it to current gen or whatever the problem is, is sorted for December 10th, because I do not think another delay will go down while I'm in this delay a lot of the community are pretty upset about it so another one wow people I don't even know but guys those are 10 plus things bad about cyberpunk and like I said I find it seriously hard to put this list together because I think the game is going to be absolutely incredible delays or not so don't take this the wrong way, I'm not hating on the game at all, as you know, I'm more hyped about this than probably anybody. But yes people, I hope you enjoyed the video, if I've missed anything you think's bad about the game, let me know down below in that comments section. Guys, subscribe for daily cyberpunk, if you like the video, leaving a like really helps me out and hopefully I will see you on that next one.